Paying off debt in the military is a struggle, especially if you're dealing with it alone and unable to reach out to anyone for help. Let's face it, most military members, especially Marines, are not the brightest. And when we fall into debt, this could affect a lot of our ability to get things like a car for transportation, or maybe get a house, or maybe even contribute to your retirement. We don't all have a perfect credit score or any savings, or even just a mentor that can teach us about all these financial things. Plus, with military members being paid so little, paying off debt can seem like a never ending uphill battle of trying to make ends meet while getting a ton of debt on the side. This is no way to live, especially as someone who is serving the country, but that's okay because in this video, we'll be talking about the fastest and the simplest ways that you can pay off debt in the military with a low income. I'll be going over one of the best strategies that anyone can use to pay off their debt. This is gonna make it a lot faster than how you would normally do it. And yeah, you don't need a large income to do it. Now, before we start, I do wanna say that I am not a financial advisor or anything like that. I'm just a military member who likes to share the things that I find through my own research and experience in order to help you guys. So if you guys don't know who I am, I'm a sergeant in the Marine Corps Reserve. My family and I used to struggle a lot with money when I was growing up. And so that's why I make these videos to help out any military members out there who also might be struggling. Now, with all that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. So first we have to talk about the two main methods to paying off debt the fastest. There's the avalanche method and then there's the snowball method. After spending a lot of hours digging online, I found that these are the two best ways to pay off your debt the fastest. So first is the avalanche method. And this is where you find the highest interest rate debt and tackle that one first. Now at this point in the video, if you don't know what the interest rate is on your debt, then you need to call your bank or your lender and find that information out. And if you have multiple debts, then make sure that you call all of them so that you know what the interest rate is on all of your debt. So if you have multiple debt in different locations with different interest rates, then the avalanche method might be the best one for you because this one focuses on the highest interest rate. That means that the debt with the highest interest rate is compounding a lot faster than the other debt. The second method is gonna be the snowball method. And this is where you find the lowest balance debt and then tackle that one first. This one's a little bit more psychological because it allows you to see the progress a lot faster on your debt. This is gonna help build up your confidence and it's gonna get you into a good mindset, which is very important for paying off your debt. Now, one thing that I do wanna say is that it doesn't matter which method that you choose, you still need to make the minimum payments on all these debts. Otherwise, you're going to get hit with a late fee and that is going to hurt your credit score. Now, if you have already been hit with this late fee and your debt is in collections, I actually have another video on this channel that will teach you exactly what you need to do in order to save on your money. So I'll go ahead and link that video down below if you are in that situation. So now I wanted to go over an example to show you guys a little bit more about how it looks in a real life scenario. Let's say you've made all the minimum payments on all your debt and then you have an extra $3,000 which you can put towards a specific debt. And let's say, for example, you have debt on the following $10,000 worth of credit card debt at an 18.99% annual percentage rate, a $9,000 car loan at 3% interest rate, which I know seems a little bit unrealistic, but just for the sake of this example, let's go ahead and go with it. So yeah, $9,000 on that car loan. And then you also have $15,000 in student loan debt at 4.5% interest rate. Now using the debt avalanche method, you'd basically pay off your credit card debt first because it has the highest interest rate compared to the rest. The snowball method, on the other hand, focuses on the smallest debt first. So you'd start off at your $9,000 car loan. And then once you pay that off, then you can proceed with the other two. Now, a great tool that you guys can use is actually a website called unbury.me. It's a free website where you can put in all of your debt and then choose between the snowball or the avalanche method. And it's a great tool for you to see when you're gonna pay off your loan, how much interest you're gonna be paying in total, and then also an average interest rate across all of your loans. It's a great website, it's totally free. I'll link it down below for you guys to check it out. Now, if you're still not satisfied with how fast you're paying off that debt, then your last option can be doing something like picking up a side hustle, which honestly, I recommend for all military members out there, regardless if you have any debt. And I actually have other videos on this topic talking about the top side hustles in the military and also how you can form a legitimate business company as a total beginner. So we'll link those down below. Again, I highly recommend all military members to start a side hustle and then eventually turn it into a business, right? Start an LLC get some business funding and you can grow your business that way. It's what I'm doing for my current business right now. And ultimately that's what's gonna allow me to achieve financial freedom, right? A business. Also, if you guys are struggling with budgeting in general, I'll also link a video down below on this channel that will teach you everything that you need to know about budgeting. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about is utilizing military assistance programs. In the military, there are a lot of programs that people don't know about that can help and guide you financially. For the army, you have the AER or the Army Emergency Relief. And then you also 
have the Navy Marine Corps Relief Society, which is for people in the Navy and Marines. They help in various ways, such as emergency expenses, unexpected bills, and they can even help during tough times like a natural disaster. These programs also provide interest-free loans, as well as scholarships for any military members out there who are going to college. So if you wanna know more about these programs, then check out the links down below. So yeah, these are all the things that you can consider doing when you're paying off debt in the military. Debt is a really huge issue that prevents military members from things like starting a family, saving for a house, and other huge life decisions because they have so much debt. A lot of people know that they have to pay off this debt in order to start saving for the future. And so if that's you, then I hope this video was able to give you some value. Again, my goal with this channel is to help military members by spreading good information that I find. So if you know anyone in the military who could benefit from this video, please share it with them. And also I encourage you to talk about it openly within your unit, within your platoon or whatever. The more open we are to talking about financial topics and the more we can learn from each other. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. That way the algorithm can show this video to other military members who might need it. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you made it this far, comment down below what your favorite MRE is. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.